Hello, everyone. My name is Deng Wenzhen. I was born in Hualien, eastern of Taiwan, living and working in Taichung. I'm a fiber artist, and I use traditional techniques such as nature dyeing, embroidery, tapestry, weaving. I also use the recycled fabrics to create soft sculpture and installation art. In the past few years, I have been interested in the aborigines of Taiwan and the issue of island ethnic integration. Because my mother's family is Pimpu, they are immigrant from Southern. And my grandfather is from Western. My native family has documented the immigration history of the Pimpu and Hakka in Taiwan. While looking for roots, I began to create some artwork. I want to talk about Taiwan's historical events and also oral story. There are two types of media I use now, which are presented in diptych form. The first type is the combination of indigo dyeing and embroidery, including cross stitch. When I start to work, I read a lot of books or historical documents. Then I draw a sketch on my drawing book. After that, I prepare the material. First of all, I sew the gunny bag tightly, then dye it with indigo. After that, I embroider the pattern on it by myself. I like to use gunny bags to make maps because they have wealth of story. The most common grain are coffee beans. Maybe they come from Africa. The second type of my work is tapestry. In addition to lining and cotton wire, I also use recycled fabrics, which I cut into strips and then weave. I think to use the recycled fabrics is an action to reduce the waste of resources and promote environmental awareness. The theme is based on Aboriginal meat or legends. The Taiwan expedition included the Rover incident and the Mudan incident, which took place at Kandin. Describe the story of Scalo's death hunting. This big event has highlighted Taiwan's important strategic position in the history of the world. 